So we all know that the last year and a half has been this pandemic has affected people around the world in so many ways that we can't even begin to understand. But despite all of the challenges that we've faced in the last year and a half, there has been something amazing that's come out of it for us. We're pregnant! <laughs> Woo! 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 As you can tell, we are over the moon about it. Um, for as long as I can remember, there's nothing that I've wanted more in this world than to become a mother. So when we found out, we just couldn't wait to share the news with our family and friends. a long road to this point. Migs and I started dating when we were basically kids and I can't believe that we've been together for almost seven years now and so much has happened during this time. Two elections, representing the Philippines in a Miss Universe pageant and life and all of its ups and downs in between. In November 2019 we went on a trip of a lifetime to Flores where Migs asked me to marry him and that was kind of the beginning of the next chapter of our lives. We had found the most perfect wedding venue and everything was working out until this pandemic hit. So even though our plans to get married had to be postponed for now, we decided to make some changes to our lifestyle with one goal in mind. Starting a family. As expected, things were not that easy. It took months of blood tests, trips to the doctor and different treatments to balance out my hormones 
to even be able to begin trying for a baby. It was all worth it though, because about a year later, we got the best news ever. Hi, Doc. So within the day, I was on prenatal vitamins that made me feel extremely ill every single night and Google became this guy's best friend with every single question beginning with is it safe to dot dot dot. Migs flew in for our first ultrasound but had to head back to the province for work a couple days later, leaving me with a tub of ice cream, sour candy, a big ass puzzle and my overly active thoughts and that is when reality started to kick in for me. So I know that every pregnancy is different, but with this being our first pregnancy, Migs being a little bit paranoid, um, the time that it took for us to get pregnant and also COVID cases were on the rise when all of this was happening. Um, the doctor's orders were pretty simple and that was bed rest until the end of the first trimester. This was really hard for me. Basically, I had to drop certain aspects of my lifestyle in an instant. I've always traveled a lot, loved hanging out with friends and sharing a coffee or a bottle of wine. I worked out basically every day and of course you can't forget the sushi and the cold cups. Talking to friends about their experiences and watching videos of other expectant mothers on their journeys kept me sane in the couple of months I spent cooped up by myself. So that is kind of what inspired me to make this video. You guys are a big part of my life and as much as we try to keep our private life mostly private, we wanted to share this amazing news with you guys, but also the reality of this journey as I go through it and learn the ropes of becoming a new mother. Now I'm not gonna lie and say it's been all flowers and sunshine. In fact, the hormones, my changing body and lifestyle had me in a bit of a funk for a while. Lots of tears were shed throughout my first trimester but now that I'm past it and in my fourth month of pregnancy, I can look back and be grateful that our baby was actually pretty good to me. But above all, we are all healthy and growing every day. We are incredibly grateful for this blessing that's come at such a crazy time in the world. Um, and we're so excited to see what the future has in store for us. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. <laughs>